Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and um, today I just want to do like a quick haul. Um, it, this is like a very high end for me um, and I am just really curious of what everybody is raving about about this product. So to get started, um, I just purchased my very um, uh, first Giorgio Armani um, foundation and mine came into 5.5 well before that I have a story to say it was really really funny when we went to Saks Fifth Avenue we just had our dinner like a dinner date with my husband and so he suggested to drive along downtown and so he got himself in trouble of parking right next to Saks Fifth and I just saw that everything is over there and it was just so amazing I felt like I'm in heaven on earth when I got in there because every um, high-end very high-end products are there like Chanel Dior um, Armani and Tom Ford and I've been hearing a lot of those and a lot of people are been raving about it so I was like really curious I was kind of playing it simple at first and then when my husband told me that okay choose whatever you want to choose so I just really took advantage of that um, I kind of controlled myself at some point because I really didn't want to spend that much. Um, we just had dinner and we were just, we were actually planning to ride on that um, carriage thingy. Just It just felt so romantic, but we ended up in Saks Fifth Avenue, which, you know, it's pulling me in. I just cannot say no. I just can't resist. So anyway. He was so happy of buying me stuff anyway. So and he got himself some nice cologne from Tom Ford and it's just so amazing. I just forgot to bring it up here, but it smells so yummy. Good. I, I don't know how to say that, but anyway. Um so the first thing that I got is the Giorgio Armani liquid foundation, luminous silk foundation. I've been hearing about so much. I've been hearing so much about this and one of the um, girls on YouTube, she's my favorite, um, her name is uh, Nicole Guerrero, I'm sure everybody knows her and um, she's the one that I saw that's been using a lot of this um, foundation. So I got mine in 5.5 and I, I think it's perfect in my skin tone. I, um, I don't have to swatch it because it's just foundation but it really is feels luxurious you know so I'm having it here and I'm for sure gonna be using it on some special occasions because I have tons of collections I haven't done um, um, um makeup room tour because this is not actually like a room but it's like a space in in our second floor but I want to arrange everything first before I I do my um makeup tour so makeup collection tour so I'm gonna get into that pretty soon so there you go and I have probably like about four foundations that I haven't even opened yet and I really don't want to get into it until I finish at least two of my foundations so the next item that I got was um, a Tom Ford lipstick I got Michael and Omar the funny part about this guys was that actually I was gonna say that earlier but for some reason my um forget it my explanation just went somewhere else but that is really funny um while I was choosing this because um Jo Malone um perfumes are also there so my husband is checking out something in Jo Malone and Tom Ford um these are like um the whatchamacallit special collection of Tom Ford it's not gonna stay forever so um, the guy slash girl um, I don't know the guy okay the guy um, suggested this to me so when we went on that area my husband was like preoccupied in the Joe Malone and he was like okay I have nice stuff for you and we got into the Omar and the Michael and for some reason he was asking me do you know the name of that guy I'm like you mean my husband I mean, who doesn't know the name of their husband? I mean, that is just the silliest question someone can ever ask me. Like, uh, what's his name? Do you know his name? I'm like, of course I do know his name. 
but it doesn't look like it's in that collection because uh, my husband is Mexican and he has a very Mexican name, though he has a very cute uh, nickname though. So I really love the nickname and let's just stick to the nickname. Um, um, so I got the Omar and the color is just super beautiful. And this is the, yeah, number 14 Omar. I'm going to swatch it a little bit. There you go. This is the Omar and it looks so good on my lips. When I tried it on, it was just so beautiful. And it's very creamy and it just glides on smoothly. And now I know, now I know what everybody is raving about with this lipstick. And it's just, I posted it in my um, Instagram and everybody seems liking it so much so i have to have like a special place for this stuff it's not a very big um kind of lipstick it's a zero uh it's a 0 0.07 ounces so it's pretty smaller than the regular you know lipsticks like even with mac or with chanel because i both have you know, I'm starting to collect more of like the high end, like the really, really high end lipstick. So this is the MAC and this is the Tom Ford. So it, it, they're kind of like more smaller. They're pricey, yes. Mm. Times two and a half of the price of MAC. So it's something that is, you know, it's very luxurious for a lipstick. So, but I love it. I'm not planning to collect the whole collection. I just am so happy that I have this two um, for the Tom Ford because I have tons of lipsticks and I'm really, and this one is the Michael. It is super soft. I'm so, I'm, I'm so even scared to like glide it on. And it just smells so good. And I just love that initials over there. Is there a possibility not to like get, use it all up? And this is the swatch for the second one. This is the Michael. This is the Omar. And the Michael is just so beautiful. Um, actually, I actually want to try it on right now. I haven't even tried it on in my lips. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the Michael. I want to try it on. Should I use a lip liner with this one? Yeah, I probably will. I'm actually going to use the nude. I love it it's really really beautiful it's kind of like a peachy tone color um, which is my um, choice um, when we went there he kind of suggested the Omer and I tried it on and he was raving about how it looked good on my lips but the Michael one was also my um, my choice so there you go i had this and i am so happy that i got it and i'll be using it on some special occasions and but i'm glad that we stopped over there so there you go um i think it's worth the hype i know it's kind of like at a 30 dollar range per lipstick but like what I said, um, it's worth it. It's worth it because the formula of this is really good. I've been reading it um, the other night and which I am really um, impressed. So, um, and it doesn't have like this um, weird scent, which I love because I'm very like what I always say. I'm very, very, um, 
which we'll call it I am very picky when it comes to sense of what I put in my face just because it will be in your face so you'll be smelling it most of the time so why not choose the one that really smells good so but of course you have to choose something that is really good for you so there you go I hope you guys enjoyed this very short video of what I got um, stuff like that I cannot haul a lot just because they are expensive and um, I don't see the point of spending so much. I think with my collection, I just want to buy like bits by bits, but I'm really glad that I had added that in that collection. I'm looking forward to using my foundation and I'm definitely going to use that in one of my um, makeup tutorials and I'm definitely going to see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and please give me a like and see you guys.